Welcome Capricorn. This is going to be your June love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. Ooh, I like this a lot. What's coming in for you? Okay, the Hermit is more of soul searching. This is spending a lot of time alone, reflecting, just more protecting your peace. The Sun is coming in, so there's a lot of positivity coming in your energy. Um, finding light now through the darkness in a way, happier times, good vibes. And then we have the Spirit of Cups, which can be bringing in um, a lot of self-love, romance, flirting, new found of emotions. But let's go ahead and get right into it because I am seeing the Six of Rings and there could be something a bit out of balance or someone giving more than the other are not giving as much. So let's see. All right, we have you coming in as the Four of Pentacles. There's some things, the challenge here is that there's something here that feels unresolved. A big challenge or a disagreement, conflict, competition, comparing. There could be a lot of things with this Five of Wands. We'll get more into it. Someone is thinking of you as an opportunity. And they're thinking very um, logical here. Huh. Oh, wow. This is beautiful here, you guys. We have you coming in very determined. A lot of sunshine, joy, happiness coming through. Okay. Let's start clarifying. What is this Four of Pentacles? Why is this here for Capricorn? Two of Cups. Queen of Swords. Ooh. Okay, you may have cut off a relationship <laughs> or went cold on someone here, upset with the connection. There is definitely a distance or uh, a detachment um, within this situation. The Four of Pentacles could be you kind of reserving your energy, not really putting much effort into it anymore, as you may be like letting go. Um, I feel like you gave a lot to somebody here but now it's like maybe being open to other things now, since something here is feeling a disconnect. This person feels like things are definitely out of balance within the connection. We do have the temperance coming through. There's um, a lot of struggling to find peace are allowing things into their life here uh they feel like they want peace with you so there may be some honest communication or somebody wanting to bring something to light as in truth again making a choice or a final decision in some way because we do have the world that it is showing like an unresolved situation now the tower is here with the Six of Swords. So this is telling me that something is really hard to move on from. There may have been a lot of you guys who had a really sudden tower with somebody, which can be like sudden change or finding out the truth. A lot of things happening um, to where you found out, right? are about to but it has i feel like you're trying to move away from this you're going more into calmer waters yes this could be a fight with an emotions and the mind um, but it does show that you are more coming into a, a calmer mindset a more a, a change of perspective when it comes to this tower because we do have the seven of pentacles energy and it is showing a lot of impatience because somebody wasn't investing anymore it feels like a lot of truth was hit, hidden from you not getting much clarity about uh this person or uh, about the situation or where it's going or what's happening so let's see what the ace of pentacles is it looks like somebody's thinking about messaging you we do have the star energy the star is hope somebody still having hope or faith of something working out um we do have the page of pentacles which can also represent a message someone's very focused and determined to send you something and why is that is because you spoke some truth to this person and i feel it's giving them that time 
to really think something over. And now that they're feeling that things are not aligned right now or feeling all over the place, it feels like they want to come towards you. Probably asking for forgiveness here too or wanting some type of forgiveness to move past this. Um, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. Could be a, a craft work putting in the effort in some way too as we have the eight of pentacles energy huh. there is still a sense of confusion they're not really sure on what path to choose or how to go about things there is still them making a choice or making decisions it seems very indecisive we also have that coming up in the near future too Yeah, but I feel that something just feels very unfulfilled, very unsatisfying to you, where it's kind of taking this like healing journey. It's kind of you already kind of going into hermit mode, already like putting things in perspective about the situation. I feel like you already kind of resolved this on your own in a way. Um, so regardless what this person says, I feel this is the challenge, is the tower of how this tower affected. Uh, this connection or a sense of resistance or things not changing are being stuck so it just feels like in the near future that something still feels like you're wanting more we do have judgment coming in with the chariot wow okay so to me what this looks like what i'm feeling what i'm seeing is capricorn you're a very self-made energy you're very real you're nurturing you're comforting you know what you could bring to the table you don't even need anybody anyways i feel that you really take you put time away for people that you really care about and that you invest in but if someone's going to give you mixed signals or try to have you kind of just linger around that's just not for you i feel that you are coming in with the chariot where you have goals, you have dreams, you have accomplishments. You're no longer wanting things to delay you anymore. It feels like you're overcoming a lot already in your life. And for this, it's like you're charging right to victory. You're getting back on track on your life and you're going towards what makes you happy and accomplishing your goals, regardless of what anybody else is doing. So I do see that you are just very a determined energy regardless because the six of wands is saying you're retreating. You're taking back your energy. You're um, feeling a lot more confident because there's, it feels like there was nothing coming out of something. And now that they wanna come in, it still feels unsatisfying. Like, okay, great, you know, whatever this person says, but it's like, it's still not fulfilling you in, the, in what you want or what aligns with you here. So it does show that you are making a long-term decision, not a short-term decision, and you're really thinking about your future and long making final decisions and choices for yourself and your good judgment and learning from your past and making good choices and creating good patterns for yourself as you use your inner wisdom to go more towards this beautiful uh, sun energy and opening up to opportunities with this self-love that you've created within you all the nurturing and soul searching that you have done you're going to be attracting a lot of energies like that back you see so i feel like there's just not really putting in the effort anymore and regardless what anybody this person says or does yes it's nice it's like whatever they say or whatever they want to bring into balance but it just does not satisfy you <laughs> and what as in like what you want too it's not just about what they want and what they feel comfortable it's about what you feel comfortable what you want and don't want what you will tolerate and won't tolerate so very strong grounding energy i'm seeing here like super strong okay so you're on your way to victory my friend so let's get um a message from Oh, well, let's save this. That's a message from Spirit. Now let's see what they're saying, what they want to say to you here. All right. The stress from this is draining me. Okay, so it's really impacting them. We have gossip. I'm afraid of what other people will think. And mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs and soul tie. Uh, I always feel connected with you. Our love is always there despite the distance. So it feels like this person just really has strong emotions for you. 
um, and you really have a hold on this person's heart, I see. Okay, let's grab one more card and then we'll get the spirit advice. I look for you everywhere. I regret lying to you. So whatever this may have been in the challenge, it's like, it's, it's really not, it's hard to overcome this, especially once how this person expressed whatever they're expressing, it still doesn't seem to really change anything for how you feel and what your wants are and desires are in the near future. That's why I see you kind of moving on your way. We have compassion. You're being asked to be kinder to yourself, to give yourself a break. Instead of being a taskmaster, a bully, and a horrible friend, be a loving comforter who always has your back. And what is this is saying is that don't be a bully to yourself. Don't be a horrible friend to yourself. You know, always have your back. Show that compassion to yourself here. And I feel that's exactly what you guys are doing. And it's just so attractive and so much more vibrant with that type of energy that you may even be attracting a lot more opportunities, just holding, just being more kind to yourself, just by self-love, you, um, you project that onto others. You're just walking very abundantly. Um, and it's not like, I'm not talking about toxic positivity to always be happy and ignore your feelings. No, it's just by carrying this energy can attract like-minded people or like energies. So that's what I'm seeing here. Beautiful message. Life is a series of shifting cycle of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads capricorn i'm gonna leave this here i really enjoyed your reading it was absolutely beautiful um i hope this helped and brought clarity to you and if it did in any way please like and subscribe and i will see you guys very soon god bless